Jazz Latina on Jazz FM. Jazz FM. It's time to visit one of our countries with an expert from the company Journey Latin America. Um, Mexico stands out in particular because it's got, you know, everything that you could want from a holiday. It's got sort of amazing beaches, both on the Pacific coast, sort of wilder beaches, or you've got the Caribbean coast as well, sort of more crystal clear beaches and nice white sand. Um, it's got ruins, it's got lovely colonial cities to visit. Um, just everything you could possibly want from a holiday, really, or a destination to visit that's a bit exotic, and amazing food and people. It's very difficult to try and pinpoint one particular place to visit in Mexico, because it is so big. I mean, I lived there for a year and only really scratched the surface, but um, I think it would be good to, um, if you went, flew into Cancun and kind of got to know the Riviera Maya, I think you'd get a nice idea because you can go to Merida and see sort of colon what a colonial city could be like, as well as um, you know the, the Caribbean coast beaches, which are incredible. Um, and then you've also got ruins nearby at Chichen Itza and, and other options there. And then you've got other things that you could visit, such as like the cenotes, which I, I think is quite original in Mexico. Um, sort of the underground pools that you get. That is really breathtaking if you get to experience that. And I think if you've only got a limited time, time frame. Um, Mexico City can seem to be a bit overwhelming um, to you know, an, an English tourist or you know, a person visiting the country just because it's so big. Um, but it is very easy to navigate and it, in that it's got several different sort of districts that you can visit um, and you can take on one or two a day. Um, it can get quite hot as well, so you know it's busy and hot, and sometimes you can't really do the, more than two things a day. But you've got the pyramids as sort of an hour outside of the city, and then you've got um, you know like, uh, Frida Kahlo's house to visit. Um, you can eat food from all over the world in, in Mexico City, and at the moment they're sort of specialising in um, trying to reintroduce sort of Mayan and Aztec food back into the daily cuisine. So. There's a lot of that. Um, food is a, a ma major part of sort of social life in Mexico. Um, any anywhere that you go, any kind of celebration, any kind of party, it will be sort of the focal point. Um, sort of endless hours eating uh, is how many of the fiestas sort of. In in England, we know mainly Mexican food through sort of Tex-Mex food. Um, which doesn't really do it justice. Yes, you can eat sort of burritos and that kind of thing in Mexico, but the, the cuisine is so um, wide. They've got so many different varieties of food. Um, you can have anything some, sort of from a stew or, you know, sort of rice with vegetables and um, meat. I was lucky enough to live with a Mexican family when I was out there, so I really got a taste of sort of homemade meals that I, th I don't think you would get um, in the Mexican restaurant over in the UK so it's really worth sort of trying to meet Mexicans and eat with them and um, make sure you take their advice on where to eat because you can eat really really well. Music in Mexico is, is important. Um, I think the mariachis are particularly interesting just because they've got sort of a social role as well in that um, you, you sort of um, pay mariachis to, to serenade you um, during your meals and things like that um, and also in a romantic way, you sort of, um, if someone's trying to woo someone else, they'd sort of um, pay a mariachi to come and serenade their windows and at the window during the night, and this kind of thing still happens in Mexico, which is quite interesting. Um, but it's quite a noisy place in general. You, you'll always have music everywhere you go. Um, it, it's a, a major part um, of their lives. Mexico is a country of sort of fusion. You've got, you've got sort of um, history, and then you've got art, and you've got culture, and then you've got beach. You've got sun and amazing food, and very welcoming people. I think what most impressed me about Mexico is is the people and how sort of welcoming they are, and and they want to sort of show you their country, um, and they're very proud of of where they come from. So I think it's I'd say it's a country of of Fusion. Let us take you around the world to Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Peru, and Cuba. Isla Latina on Jazz FM.